Okay, we're going to look at um, trigonometry equations minus uh, 2 pi. Uh, this originally was made by Amy Talbot, a uh, senior graduated in 2016. So you should go into UConn. And here's a little picture of puppies. Apparently, Amy really likes puppies. So the equation we're going to be solving is the sine of 2 theta minus 5 pi over 6 is equal to negative a half. Uh, first thing we did is we drew a graph of the sine of 2 theta minus 5 pi over 6. That's the red curve right there. Uh, and you notice it's going from a period of 0 to um, Two pi approximately, like a little less than two pi. And um, we notice that there are four answers. Um, and they're going to show up right now. Little circles, there it is. Um, so you can see that there are going to be four answers that we're going to get. So you're not going to be able to have your graphing calculator in order to solve this equation. You want to do it algebraically as opposed to using a graphing calculator. Uh, but I just thought I'd give you a nice little view. So the first thing you want to do is you want to imagine that um, you're solving the sine of theta, the sine of any x, let's say, is equal to negative a half. So when is sine equal to negative a half? Um, that would be at 7 pi over 6 and 11 pi over 6. And then we're just going to imagine solving this equation. Um, the first thing I want to do is I want to add 2 pi to get additional answers. So I'm going to add 2 pi to get uh, the other two angles, which is 19 pi 6 and 23 pi over 6. And since there's a horizontal shift, um, usually the best way to handle it if you have a horizontal shift is to not only add 2 pi, but to subtract 2 pi as well. So I'm going to do that uh, over here on the right-hand side. I'm going to subtract 2 pi and get additional answers here. Oh, so I get negative 5 pi over 6 and negative pi over 6. So now I have uh, six answers. Uh, then I'm going to write them all out in one big long line here. So there's all my answers up there. And then I'm just going to solve this simple equation here. I'm going to uh, add 5 pi over 6 to both sides. Um, and so then I get all those six answers right there. And then I'm going to divide by 2 to solve for theta. So I divided all. No, I didn't divide all of those. I just simplified them. Sorry. And then I'm going to divide them all by 2. Wait for it. There it is. So then I divided all of them by 2. But notice um, 2 pi is larger. Um, it's outside of our domain. Our domain is 0 to not including 2 pi. And 7 pi thirds is also outside of 2 pi. So we're going to get rid of those two. And so our four answers are pi, four pi thirds, zero, and pi over three. And there's another puppy for Amy. 